This video is made with generous donations from amazing furries, just like you. This is what all the cool YouTubers do, right? They put their little road video might go on the, on a stick or something stupid and then they talk into it like this. So anyway, hey guys and welcome to a long overdue PO box video. Sorry it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these but I do have a lot of letters to open. So yeah, we're just gonna crack right on into it. Uh, if you would like to send me something to be in the next PO box video, here's the address. So it's Sky Studios, PO box 6321, Upper Mount Gravatt, Queensland 4122. I think that's it, Australia, yeah. And if you send it there, I will get a little ping saying there's something in my mailbox and I will open it on video, hopefully. There are some I didn't open because they were a little bit personal. I'm not gonna open them on camera, but I have seen them and I will say thank you to those people. You know who you are. Watch, someone gave me a watch. Thank you, I think. And also why, but thank you, <laughs> nonetheless. Anyway, we're gonna get cracking on into it. So I have my microphone here and a knife, so I might have to pin that to something real quick. Okay, it's going there. Hopefully it's not gonna get knocked around too much. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna get on started. So I have opened some of these because I've always got to check them first. Trust me, sometimes you do, sometimes it's weird inside. But we're gonna start with this one, whose address I won't dock. And on the back, they have put fan mail with a little thing. I'm gonna hold it as well for this camera so you can see it hopefully closer. That's cute. So we're gonna open it on up. So if things are falling out, I do apologize, I do have them. They might just be my actual fan art folder. So first thing I see is a really, actually really quite thick and nice D20 sticker. D20 sticker. Okay. Done. Unravel this. Oh wow. So first we got some awesome fan art of Sky. Show that camera. There's that. Now let's read the letter, which is dated 2022. Oh dear. It has been a while, I'm so sorry. I promise I read them. I've got to read them now. So it says, hello Sky. I hope you're doing great and that your first year hobby continues to grow. I am and have been a huge fan ever since I was six. I'm a very young fur, I'm 11. When I made my first fursuit, I used your tutorial and ever since I have been making fursuits, thanks to you. And I want to thank you for being amazing and for being an inspiration to others. I hope you have a good day. With appreciation, Jawmore slash Swiggle slash Zoe, hugs from the US. Well, many hugs from Australia for you, Zoe, and I'm so glad I could be an inspiration. And wow, that's a, that's a very young age, six. This one must have been around when I started my channel, so thank you for hanging around. I appreciate it very much, and thank you for the awesome fan art. That is going straight into my fan art folder. Oh no, I dropped it! To keep safe for many years to come. Hydrate or dehydrate. Okay, next one, which I haven't opened. I don't think, anyway. Oh no, I really haven't. Okay. There we go. Alright, cracking this one open. Always gonna make sure there's nothing else. Whoa. Hello, Sky. So we're gonna show the art first. Is the art of my little channel icon. There we go. Oh, there it is. Hello Sky, I love your videos and I hope I can make a fursuit one day too. Do you have any tips for hand paws and may I have a hand drawing? I would really appreciate it. Uh, greetings, May. Tips for hand paws also. Thank you, May, for your letter and your lovely fan art. I appreciate it very much. Tips for hand paws. Use a pad and <laughs> don't do what I did when starting out and try to make your own from scratch because I remember I would just sit there and cry because none of them fit. So there's plenty of good patterns, even free patterns out there, so use one of those and just practice, practice, practice. Uh, use a sewing machine if you can, if you can learn, that's even better. Um, in terms of hand drawing, I cannot draw. I am a first at making not an artist. Um, but I send you my love and hugs anyway, and I hope this video is a good substitute for hand drawing. So thank you very much, Lee May. Appreciate it very much. It's going over here. Oh, God, it's a lot deeper in the envelope than I anticipate. <laughs> Ooh, check them out. Okay. Oh, read first. I've written the turn address on the envelope to Sky High Studios. It's all tied up with a lovely bit of string. Oh geez, there's a lot going on. Okay, read first. Help. All right. Hi Sky, my name is Curtis and I'm 13 years old. I've been watching your vids for two months now and you were the first furry YouTuber I watched when I joined the fandom. I'm wondering where you get your fur from. Also, do you play any video games? If you do, do you play Overwatch? Thank you for reading my letter. I've also included two drawings, one of Sky and one of my persona Raz. I'm also from the Gold Coast. I'm wondering if you attend any Comic Cons and if you go to Oz Comic Con in Brisbane. Since you love Warrior Cats, I think you would like Wings of Fire since it's like Warrior Cats but dragons. Sorry this letter is all over the place. Sincerely, Curtis. Well, thank you, Curtis, for your lovely, lovely letter. Um, I do sometimes go to Comic Con, but I don't first suit. I went to Oz Comic Con, was it Supernova? Supernova. I went to Supernova Brisbane this year, but just as me, just to look at the vendors with my sister, uh, nothing crazy. And if you're asking where I get my fur from, I order it from International. We just don't have any reliable sellers here in Australia, unfortunately. 
And yes, you do have to cop the shipping for that in most cases, which is unfortunate, but it's just a necessary evil. The stuff at Spotlight's like just as expensive as shipping included anyway, so there's no real point in there's no real point in just ordering locally if it's gonna cost 120 bucks a meter to begin with. So um, I mainly order from Big Z and Hal Fabrics, and I'm slowly working my way through Mofu Mofu's line as well to test the quality and make sure it's all good to go. So yeah, that's where I get that. Um, do I play video games? Yes, I do. I've been playing a lot of... What have I been playing a lot of? I've been playing a lot of Bellatro recently, which is definitely not within your age group's interest level. It's like a poker kind of thing. It's fun. It's really good. Um, but I've also been playing Cult of the Lamb and I play Animal Crossing. Minecraft is always a good one. Um, I've been playing a couple of fun cult games with my partner at the moment. Um, let's have a look at these things. So this is the character Raz. Ooh, there you go. Is that girl? Got a sticker that says creature. Sticker to put on Steve-O. Sure, I will put him on, I'll put it on Steve-O in a second. Where is Steve-O? Oh, he's up there. He's on the shelf at the moment, but I will. I will put him on Steve-O. You'll see it in the next time I do a tutorial video. Stay there. Oh, lovely. And there is the little drawing of Sky. There we go. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate it very much, man. Hope to see you around. If you see me around, say hi. Say hi. Now, I do believe this is actually a Christmas card. This goes to show how, how long it's been. So, to Sky, Merry Christmas. Oops, sorry. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it for next year. I do your first that you've made. I discovered you through one of your customers, Bodhi. I would like to get a fursuit, but I know how expensive they are to make from Jake. Thank you, Jake, for the Christmas card. Sorry it took me so long to open it and read it. I did read it when I got it, though. I promise that. I do tend to just enjoy reading them because I can't, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I just want to read your stuff. It's so exciting. Not reading it. So thank you, Jake. Thank you very, very much for that. I think this has stuff in it, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There is many. There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, okay. There's actually a letter on the back. So that makes it convenient. I don't have to take it out just yet. Hi, Sky. My name's Isla. Isla. Um, Isla? Is that how you say it? I think it's Isla. Elsa? Isla. I'm 11 years old from the UK. I've gotten into fursuit making a couple of weeks ago. Now when I made my first fursuit head called Onyx, I used your canine head tutorial and it was a huge help. So I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that you make these amazing tutorials. I've recently made the head base of my newest OC Noctis, aka Batty. She's a bat with a third eye, so I guess she's a bat slash demon hybrid. Inside the package you will find a poster I drew of you, three badges including my two personas, and a head concept of a fursuit I want to make in the future. Do you have any suggestions? Also, a few questions. How long did it take you to get the hang of fursuit making? Uh, what age were you open for commissions? Keep up being amazing. Bye. Well, thank you, Isla. Thank you very, very much for your letter. You're very well. You've got much better handwriting than me than I had at 11 years old or even now, so uh, great work there. Uh, okay, what are the questions? Just real quick. Uh, how long did it take me to get the hang of fursuit making? Yes, I, I still feel like I'm getting the hang of it, honestly. It took me quite a while to actually get the, a grip on it to the point where I was happy with it, but I'm honestly always learning new things and I'm always growing and figuring out what like I need to improve on. So it's a constant journey for sure, but I would, ooh, 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 I would say at least four years, but I was not working full time at that point. Uh, what age were I? I was open for commissions. I think I took my first commission when I was 17. 16, 17? Yeah, around about then. I just graduated, I was just about to graduate high school. So I think around then, I think. So let's have a look at these other ones. So I'll take out the big boy first. So that, that's there. There's the poster. I really like it. It looks so good. I like it very much, Luke. There's that camera. Do, 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 do. We got a little sky badge. We've got, I'm a shoe. Ooh, there it is. There's Noctis. There's their bat, bat. And there's Onyx, their other character. There we go. And then I'm assuming this is the first suit head they want to make. Kind of reminds me of those paper dragon puppets I see kids on TikTok make. They're really cool. If anyone wants to send me one of those, that'd be sick. I'd love that. That'd be amazing. But uh, any tips, take your time. Don't be afraid to redo stuff because with shapes like that, it can be really fun, like really fiddly. But just try your best. Maybe, I don't know how long it's been since you sent this, but either way, I hope you've succeeded in that venture if you have started already. But thank you very much as well. I really appreciate it. Your art is amazing. Your lid is amazing and lots of hugs to you all the way in the UK. Next package. There's a lot going on here. This is Uwu made for you. Okay, since it's open first, which I actually have, because I was cheeky. I don't actually really remember what was in here at all, so you will have to forgive me. Honestly, it's been so long since I got this, I don't actually remember what was inside, so you kind of getting a live unboxing anyway. Oh dear. Oh, there's so much stuff that's falling out. Okay. Wow. Okay, first thing just to do it is a whole bunch of stickers. Oh. And there's some that are hand-drawn, which is really cool. I'll put the, the animal pun stickers over here. 
so that they're safe. And I will show the two stickers of a little cat and Sky. These little long boys. Quite like those, they're very cute. Thank you. Now, let's read the letter before we go into the boxes. Dear Sky, I am 13 years old and my name is Ali. I'm a little fan and hoping to get a suit soon, hopefully from you. I found some stickers you might like and made too. I hope you like Sky, the noodle dog and Rob the noodle cat. I hope you like your items I made. Sorry I taped them so tight, I didn't want them to break. Make sure to pop the bubble wrap if you want. I could have, I could make you a badge for cons, no money, because I would love to. Sincerely, Ali. Well, thank you, Ali, for your lovely letter. And the stickers are really cool. Wish I had to do that as a kid, because I would have done it a lot. They're really cool. I'm going to put them safely with the other letters, and now we will have a look. Okay, there is something in here made for you. Oh, wow. So there's some earrings. I don't actually have my ears pierced. I've never gotten them done as a kid, because I was a was and the pair of pattern needles, but they are so sweet. Thank you for that, that's lovely. That's really sweet. Thank you very, very much, I appreciate that. That's very generous. And now we've got these, which I did unwrap. I'm reaching it, oh, it's foam, okay, it's not sculpting. I thought it was polymer clay. What do we got? Oh, it's a turtle with a little sundae on the back. That's so cute, are you joking? That's awesome. I do like foam clay, foam clay's so much fun to mess with. I like it, I like that very much. Oh, where am I gonna put him? I need to make sure he's safe. Okay, he's going underneath the camera. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, it's a keychain with a little dinosaur dude. That's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. And then, I believe we've got one more in here. Oh, maybe two. Ooh. Oh, oh, I love him. Now, this one is polymer clay, I can tell that. There's a little keychain with a frog and a strawberry. I actually love that, that's my favorite. That one's awesome. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. What's your name again? I need to make sure I thank you personally. Ali. Thank you, Ali, so much. They're so cute. They're so cool. I love them. I will show this one as a thank you because it's only polite. Um, this is actually from Nort, whose suit I'm currently working on. So they have said, thank you for making my suit with a heart. And they've drawn this little art of Nort and Sky together, which I love. So thank you for that, Nort. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Thank you, Nort. Very much appreciate that. This one says, for, for Sky. Hello Sky, I'm 12 years old and I was hoping that one day you could make my first suit. P.S. My persona's name is Trixie. And I've drawn the Patreon intro screen art. There we go. Thank you, Trixie. Maybe one day I'm going to open for commission soon. So keep an eye out. Thank you, Trixie. Thank you very much. Mr. Magpie, please. There's a hungry baby magpie outside. <laughs> Yeah, you, please. Thank you, I'm trying to record a video. Thank you very much. All right, they go. <laughs> I do apologize for the beepy boys. It is Australia, there's only so much we can do, but we're gonna keep going. Still got quite a few to get through, but there's a sticker, some Star Wars stickers. And in here, please read on camera. You are definitely getting read on camera, don't worry. So I've done a lovely little art of Sky. There's that one. Hello Sky, I'm Willa, I'm nine years old, and I love your fursuit tutorials. I have a fursuit dino mask and three sonas. Annie, Merlin, and Cal Lily. Cow Lily, Annie is a dino mask. Love, Willa. Well, thank you, Willa. Thank you very, very much for your art and your letter. I very much appreciate it. It is going directly into my little fan art preserving boulder. All right, next one. Next one. Okay, we've got a little drawing of Sky, which is very cute. There's that one. What are you guys? We've got a letter. Hi, Sky. Big fan. I love all your fursuits. My name is Oliver. I don't know if you can send me a letter back, but I love Dorito Moomin from Oliver, age 10, and a little ink dot. This is from Oliver. Thank you, Oliver. I love your art. Thank you very, very much. All right, next one. Ooh, we got a long letter. Checking this. Okay, there is a return address on the back. So I'm gonna have to leave it flat, so I'm not gonna hold it up forward. Dear Skype, my name is Tyler, and I live in the south of the UK. I've been a part of the fandom for almost half a year now. I really like your videos and the effort you put into each really shows. I myself am a young fur, and my young fur turning 15 in January, and I often feel unsure of myself. I'm certain that I'm a furry, however. <sighs> Magpies, please. I'm unsure how to, or wh and whether or not to tell my family and friends. I fear that preconceptions about furries might ostracize me, or I will be mocked till the day I die. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact I have no furry friends, which sucks. My persona is a kangaroo called Riley the Roo because I'm either super hyper or super reserved. A lot of the time. Also, if it's all right, can I ask how did you tell your parents and friends you're a furry? And do you tell regular people you're a furry when you meet them? Anyway, I just wanted to say your videos are some of the best I've seen on YouTube and your suits are amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your talent with the world from Tyler. P.S. Sorry for the terrible handwriting, terrible drawing, not much of an artist. Me neither, but I think it's a wonderful drawing. There it is. 
wonderful drawing, Tyler. Um, to answer your question, I didn't really have a period of time where I told my family or friends I was a furry because I didn't really realize it was like a bad, quote unquote, bad thing. I just was making suits and my mom was like, okay, creativity, making things with hands. We like that in this household. So I didn't necessarily tell my parents. They just kind of found out as I did, I guess. Um, I definitely don't tell people I'm a furry when I meet them. Uh, it's just not worth it. And it's not like, it's a hobby. Think that, keep that in mind. It is a hobby. You wouldn't like go, hello, my name is Sky, and I like to bake bread. That would be really uncomfortable and weird. So you just don't, you don't need to. If they find out, you just go, yes, yeah, whatever. Do you have questions? I can answer them. So it's a very easy way to filter out the good and the bad people. So two Sky Home Studios. Hi, my name is Trent. I loved your first suit. I follow you on TikTok and I subscribe to you on YouTube. I'm into anime and manga and the furry fandom and gaming. I want to be a Dutch Angel Dragon. One day I will be at Ferdu. And I am from New South Wales. I will not disclose your legit location to the thing, to the internet. And then they've got some fan art. There you go. Well, thank you, Trent. Thank you so much for the fan art and your letter. I very much appreciate it. I hope to see you at Ferdu one day. Feel free to come say hello if you spot me around. All right, we've got four more to go. All right, here we go. Just say Mila, I think. I think that's what it says. Is it the fan art? So I'll leave that to last. This is very nice paper. Hello Sky High Studios, I'm a huge fan. My name is Mila and I'm a young furry and therian. I have two dino masks, Midnight and Melt. If you're reading this, I'd already repainted Melt and I hope you get this. Maybe a shout out. Well, shout out to Mila, you're getting a shout out in the letter red. So there is a lovely little fan art on the bottom there of Sky. Now we will have a look at the fan art fan art. The one that's labeled fan art. Sky and Midnight, cute little fan art. I actually like it, it's really cute. Oops. There you go, and that camera right there. Yeah, thank you Mia, that's very, very cute. I like it very, very much. And I hope that was good enough for a shout out. <laughs> All right, so we've got two, and I do believe they're actually from the same person. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, so we've got a little fox card, which is very cute. It says, hi Sky, my name is AJ. I love your fursuits and videos. Can we please have more tutorial videos about the fandom? I like the fursuiting 101 videos and the hate comment reactions. Your responses are awesome. P.S. I love the story time videos, especially the children ones. Well, thank you so much, AJ. I'm so glad you like the videos and a rating your first fursuits video will be coming out uh, next video. I'm recording it today. So after this video, I'm gonna take a break and have a drink of water and then I'm gonna record my rating your first fursuits video number three. And then soon number four, just to put on the back burner for later. For a rainy day, you guys. It was a Christmas card. Hey Sky, I love your videos. Can we please have more hate comment videos? I love your tutorials. Hope you're staying safe. From Anonymous USA. Thank you, Anonymous USA. Maybe. I don't get as much as I used to now because YouTube's comment filtering has gotten a lot better since then. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not exactly going to hope for more hate comment videos, but we'll see how we go. For more hate comments, I mean. Okay. Dear Sky, I've been watching your first your ah, I've been watching your videos. It's so hard to read in first suit, guys. I've been watching your videos and first suit tutorials and I like how you make kimono first suits. But can you maybe make a tutorial on kimono eyes? I wonder if you use headlight tint for the eyes since you said that the eyes weren't made of mesh. And I have a great read for you, Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire. This is the second time I've gotten recommended this is round. Uh, Wings of Fire is like Warrior Cats with Dragons. I have actually read Wings of Fire, guys. I have read it. I've read all of it and there's no, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, I've read it. I have read it, I promise. Of course I've read it. But thank you for the book recommendations anyway. It is a very good series. I love seeing Wings of Fire first. It's especially kimono and full body and it's okay if they're toony or partial. And flip the back, I made Art of You in the kimono style. Sincerely, Blizzard. You could hang it on your wall bracket. It's very cute. I do actually really like that. That is some beautiful artwork. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you very, very much. That's so sweet. And yes, I have read uh, Wings of Fire. I've read all of them. Um, and whether or not we'll get another arc, we will see, I suppose. Last one. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay. We have a badge. I will show you in a second. So this just says, just very simple. It says, I made this badge a while ago. I never had the right moment to give it to you at meets and cons. Sorry it's so late. I hope you enjoy it. The badge is done in color pencil and marker. And the credits for this is Bird Crossing on Instagram and Twitter. Or Bird, 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 yeah. Bird Crossing 1 on Twitter. And wow, like this is a, 
That is a gorgeous, gorgeous badge. Thank you very much for that. That is incredible. That's going on my lanyard. I'll put it, my lanyard is over there. I'll put it with my other one. And there's the credit. I'll put it shut back on. There's the credit. So yeah, I think that is everything. Thank you so guys so, so much for all of the fan mail. Um, I'm so sorry that I took so long to read them all. I haven't exactly had as much time as I'd like for making videos because I've been really, really focusing on clearing my queue and I've only got a couple more to go. So once those are done, I will be opening for commissions again. So if you all want to start getting your quotes in, feel free to do so via my website. And if you would like to see these videos a day before everybody else, please be sure to check out my Patreon. That link will be down below. And if you want to send me some letters yourself or whatever you would like to send me, this is the address. Copy it now. Pause the video now. This update, it is up to date and still correct. Very good. So yeah, thank you guys all so, so much once again. And I will see you in the next video for a rating your first fursuits three. Very exciting. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye now.